Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, why does my partner say he loves me, but he's not ready to commit? Well, the answer to this, the short answer is, because he's not ready to commit. It is so important to hear your partner's words, watch their actions, everything, because if he's telling you this right from the very start, he means it. And if you're sitting there thinking, well, I'll change his mind, I'll, I'll change up this whole dynamic of what's happening between us, you're the one that's going to walk away very hurt and upset. But the thing is, if he's telling you that, you have the choice. You either stay with him and see if things progress, which they probably won't in the way that you're hoping for, or you say to him, okay, thanks for your honesty, I'm looking for more, and you move on. But unfortunately, what happens with a lot of couples, when they start saying the L word, and you get to that point, it's very hard to walk away, because you're already invested. Your heart is already with them. And this is the most difficult part of relationships, especially within the first six months, because the love word usually pops out within that time frame. By then, as I said, you're already enthralled with who they are. You're already planning in your mind the future with them. But if they turn around and say to you, they're not, they don't want a commitment, there's nothing you can do but believe them because it's not your place to try and change their mind. You're the one that's going to get hurt in the long run because you're hanging in there hoping that they're going to flip, flip the whole thing around because you're such a good catch. It doesn't matter. Sometimes people are just emotionally unavailable when it comes to being in a committed partnership. It's nothing to do with you. It's to do with maybe what happened in their life, maybe just where they are. They, they can love you, but they don't want to be there 24 seven. This is something that I really, you know, I talk to a lot of my clients about that some of those first few sentences and being honest with each other when you're having those early chats are the most important times you will go through in a relationship because that tells you a lot about who they are, what they want in their future, all those kind of things. But if you're just hearing your own words and making out kind of what you want them to say you're hearing in your head, it's just kind of one of those repetitive setups that you're putting yourself through that ends up being not what you truly want. So when you're asking the question, you know, he loves me, but he doesn't want to commit. Well, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he's saying all those things because he feels them. But the thing you need to hear the loudest is he's not interested in having a committed partnership. So spending another year with him or two years or whatever, you're going to end up at the end of the day being very sad and very hurt and feeling like you were blindsided. But the truth is you weren't. A lot of people just don't hear what they're supposed to hear. They hear what they want to hear. And that is the problem in a lot of new relationships. There's also different kinds of love. He might love you, but when you truly, truly love someone and you want to be with them in a partnership, it's a different type of love. You want to see them all the time. The first thing that comes out of your mouth is not, I don't want a commitment. When you truly are in love with somebody, you want to be with them. You want to spend time with them. So his love might just be more of a a right now kind of love. He feels this for you now, but he's already talked himself into he doesn't want a commitment. So for you to try and change his mind is going to be a lot of work on your part. It's going to be very one-sided because you're going to be the one sitting around waiting and hoping for him to change. Please listen to what somebody says in the beginning. It doesn't mean that you're not a good person. You're not worthy of having a relationship. They're just not into having one in that form of a commitment. So I really want you to hear this because people spend so much energy and time with a partner that has been really honest with them right from day one. That's why I always say it's really important, especially as women, not to sleep with somebody too quickly. 
because once you get into that sexual chemistry, lust, all that, and the L word falls out of everybody's mouth, well, then you are already sort of attached and it's much harder to move on from that. And you start to hope and think, oh, maybe all this will be different. Most of the time it isn't. Of course, there's always going to be the odd person that does change and, and, and ends up committing. And maybe they will down the road. But if you're sitting there hoping for that, you're really wasting your time with somebody who's already gave, given you their answer. Is it worth the gamble? There's so many people that have been in relationships for two, three, four, or five years, and they never transpire to a marital commitment because they were told in the very beginning that their partner didn't want that. So if you're putting energy and time into somebody who has told you that right from the start, you're setting yourself up for a big disappointment. It's nothing to do with you. It's to do with the fact that that's where they're at in their life. And they may be that way forever. Please pay close attention to all the things in the very beginning of a new relationship. It can save you a lot of drama. It can save you a lot of heartache. And it can bring you closer to meeting the person you're supposed to be with because you're not putting energy and time into the wrong people. Thank you so much for listening to Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and click like. I love hearing from you and I always answer you back. Thank you and we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.